It's 11.29 a.m. About nine minutes after the end of neuter, the dog is a bit uh, alert now. I've just given antecedent to abolish and reverse the effects of Domitol at 0 0.2 mlsc just given at 11.29 then uh, you, you expect to see the dog waking up within uh, 5 minutes of the injection and uh, will be breathing normally of course you don't need to use antecedent in uh, some cases but uh, in this case the dog was already down for quite some time due to the effect of Domitol. So now if ketamine given, he should uh, be alert and awake and able to stand. And so that means that he's back to normal rather than being uh, asleep for a long time. You can see the effect of antecedent. The dog is a bit more alert. So about, now it's about uh, one minute after injection, and uh, within uh, five minutes, they should be able to stand up. Some cases we don't give antecedent, but because this dog is so thin and uh, the owner wanted him to be neutered this is about seven months old as he has been doing urine marking so uh, i stopped uh, i stopped doing the extraction of the deciduous teeth the, there are four of them the retained canine because this may take another half an hour and uh, i don't know whether this dog can take too long anesthetic, shorter than anesthetic, the better for the dog, the safety. Yeah. So I advise the owner to come next month if they are interested to remove the retained canine teeth. There are four of them the retained. I didn't drop off. The most prom prominent one is, of course, the top part you can see there. You can see, and uh, in some cases we do neuter and extraction of the retained canine teeth at the same anesthesia. But in this case, because the dog is so thin, and uh, I don't want to take the risk of of him dying under a prolonged anesthesia, so the extraction of the deciduous teeth. There are four of them. The four puppy canine teeth was not done today. February 242015, Papayo Vets, Singapore. Now the dog is more awake now after the antecedent injection. And uh, it's important that the dog wakes up fast from anesthesia as we don't know whether the heart will fail or, or something will happen if it's sedated or anesthetized post up and cannot get up. So there's a usefulness of antecedent in uh, reversing and abolishing the effects of Domitor. 0.2 ml, Domitor was given early on. Domitor plus ketamine 0.2 plus 0.2 ml, 0.2 plus 0.25 ketamine IV in one syringe early on for castration without the need to use isoflurane. And uh, the, the neuter started nine minutes after the injection IV, and uh, the whole neutering didn't take too long. I think it was around uh, 40 minutes. See the first video, and overall the dog is in good uh, good uh, recovery. Tofidin plus B2 is given subcutaneously and uh, there is no much bleeding, you can see from here. The wound is there, it's been bandaged up.
Now the dog is standing, it's about 5 minutes after antecedent uh, injection. You can see the effect is uh, very good because Domitor has been abolished. The effect of Domitor, Domitor causes the dog to be sedated and drowsy. So once antecedent reverses the, the effects of Domitor and abolish it, you can see the dog is uh, able to stand up and be normal again. Topayo Bats February 2. 42015 Tuesday. Nittering of a Mer Shetland Collie, male 7 months old.